Let me show you how to apply text wrap three different ways in Adobe InDesign. In this video, we'll focus on three commonly used and my favorite text wrap methods. This includes the AI powered select subject text wrap as well as using a Photoshop path method. So let's jump right into this tutorial and get started. The first example we'll look at is the select subject method. This is an AI powered tool that allows you to select subjects in an image and add a text wrap. Let me show you how it works. All right, on my screen, I have a magazine layout with a series of cute dogs wearing festive outfits for the holiday. I'd like to add text wraps to three of them using three different methods. The first thing I wanna do is open the text wrap window. So I'm just gonna make my way up to a window and choose text wrap. I have mine open, I'm just going to tear it off. And I'm gonna simply click on the main image here with the selection tool. In the text wrap window, let's go ahead and click wrap around object shape. Now don't be alarmed, all the content will disappear. But let's look at the bottom settings. Under wrap options, ensure that it's set to both right and left sides. And under contour options, let's choose select subject. You'll notice that the content will reappear and we can start adding the offset to our text wrap. You can do that right here. You can see it's set to zero. I'm going to increase that to about 20 or so. Something like that looks good. Now, once again, you'll notice that the title, the headline above the main image has been knocked off. You can't see it. That's because the text wrap is also affecting the main title. Let's go ahead and click the selection tool again and then click on that main title. And while holding Option or Alt on Windows, double click. That will bring up your text frame options here. And you'll notice down below there's an option to ignore the text wrap. Go ahead and check that on. And you'll notice now our main title is not being affected by the text wrap from the main image. Go ahead and click OK. Now you're gonna have to do that to the secondary title as well. Option, Alt on Windows, double click and ignore text wrap and click OK. The second example is using Photoshop to add a path. This method requires to use Photoshop documents or PSD files in an InDesign document. From there, you can apply the text wrap to the path. Let's take a closer look. Here's the Photoshop image that's been placed in the InDesign document, but I'd like to show you how the Photoshop path works. I'm in Photoshop now, and you can see I've previously removed the background on this image using a layer mask. Now to save the selection as a path, hold your command key on a Mac, that's control on Windows, and click the layer mask thumbnail. That's the black and white icon here. You'll notice that the selection, the marching ants are now around the subject. In this case, a cute dog wearing a sweater. To save it as a path, I'm gonna tear off my path window here. You can access that by going up to window and then choosing paths. You can see I've already created one here. It's called text wrap path. Just go ahead and click this plus icon to create the new path. Once you've done that, save the Photoshop document and you can jump back to InDesign. All right, back in InDesign now, let's go ahead and focus our attention on the image we just looked at in Photoshop. Here it is here, the dog wearing the cute sweater and we wanna add another text wrap to this. So let's go ahead and click on the wrap around object shape option again. This time under contour options, let's choose Photoshop path. Remember, we named the Photoshop path text wrap path, and you'll notice that it'll show up here under the path dropdown. If this was another path that you created in Photoshop, you would select that here. But since we only created the one, that's where it'll show up. Finally, go ahead and set your offset. It'll default to zero. I'm just gonna select that and set an offset of 10 pixels. The final example is the most common and traditional way of applying text wrap to an object. It uses a bounding box method that allows you to place content within body copy. Here's how it works. First, let's select the grouped element in the upper right hand corner of the page. With your selection tool, hold your command key down, that's control on windows, and click until you have the grouped content selected. Now we're gonna be adding the text wrap to the entire group. So go ahead in the text wrap window, choose wrap around bounding box. The grouped element acts as the bounding box. So go ahead and click that. In the offset options, ensure that the link here is unlinked. We don't wanna make all settings the same. 
So the only one we're going to be adjusting here is the bottom. So let's go ahead and set that to about 10 pixels just to give you a little bit more space between the text frame here and the body copy. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed these tips and tricks when using text wrap in Adobe InDesign. What's your favorite method when it comes to applying text wrap? Let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to learn more about Adobe InDesign, check out this playlist I put together right here. Until next time, take care and keep creating.